An ion moving through a solution has two forces acting upon it. A resistive force from the medium with a vector V is equal to 3I plus a root of 7J plus 3K. And an electromagnetic force from an electric field with a vector W which is equal to minus 5I plus 3J plus 4K. In this video I am going to find the angle between these uh, two vectors. So we have uh, those two vectors, uh, V and uh, W. If the angle between the two vectors, uh, V and W, is theta, then uh, to find uh, the angle theta, we can use the formula which says that cosine of theta is equal to the dot product of V and W divided by the norm of V multiplied by the norm of W. So we have our V and W here. So we can uh, calculate the dot product of uh, V and W. For the dot product, we'll be multiplying the corresponding elements, then we add them. And uh, that will give us minus 3 times minus 5 plus root of 7 times 3 plus 3 times 4, which will approximately be 4.937. So we have uh, found the dot product there. What you now need to find is uh, these uh, norms of the vectors of V and W. For the norm of V, we square these elements here and then we add them, then take the square root. So for the norm of V, it's equals to the square root of 3 squared plus uh, 7 plus 3 squared, which gives us a 5. For the norm of W, we square these elements, add them, take the square root. So we have the norm of W there is uh, the square root of 5 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared, which gives us a 5 or root 2. So we now have our dot product. The norm of V and the norm of W, we substitute them into this formula here, and we get 4.937 divided by 25 times square root of 2. We have obtained cosine of theta. We now need the value of theta. So we take the inverse. So we have uh, theta is equals to cosine inverse of 4.937 divided by 25 root 2. And that inverse gives us uh, a value which is approximately 82 degrees. So that's the angle between the vectors V and W.